We're in the Piper Seminole over eastern Colorado to have a look at a very useful but misunderstood instrument, the Horizontal Situation Indicator, or HSI. If you're like me and you did most of your initial training with a traditional six-pack panel, you may not have been exposed to the HSI, and its learning curve is sharp enough to be a little intimidating for those transitioning into using it. But after this short flight, we'll all be experts. Think of the HSI as a combination of two instruments we've already been familiar with, the directional gyro and the VOR. The HSI's function as a directional gyro is rather straightforward. As we make a turn, which we'll input here by turning the heading bug, which the heading function of the autopilot will follow, the dial moves indicating the direction of the turn. This is just the same as how the directional gyro functions. Also incorporated with the HSI is a navigation function, able to indicate a VOR or GPS course. We're flying northbound right now, approaching a radial off the Akron VOR to our west. It'll be this airway, the 050 radial. From the cockpit, we'll look at the HSI functionality by comparing it with a traditional VOR. First, let's set the Akron VOR frequency into both our NAV1 and our NAV2. We would ident the station as we normally do. On the GPS, we'll switch over to VLOC mode so the HSI is tracking it. Now, our NAV1 is on the HSI, while our NAV2, tuned to the same station, is on the VOR receiver over to the left. They're doing the same thing. We want to track inbound on the 050 radial. On the VOR receiver, we spin the OBS knob to put 050 on the bottom of the dial. On the HSI, it's a bit different. We'll twist the knob with the arrow on it to do the same task, but instead of the outer ring of the dial with the numbers moving, the arrow and needle on the inner portion of the dial rotate. We want to set the tail of the arrow on the radial, 050. Why the tail and not the head of the arrow? For the same reason we put 050 on the bottom of the VOR receiver and not the top. We're flying inbound along the radial, so instead of flying 050, we'll be flying the reciprocal chorus of 230. If we were flying outbound along this radial, we'd want the head of the arrow pointing at 050. Now, what we're showing with the arrow situated that way is the needle of the course deviation indicator deflected off center. What heading should we fly in order to intercept the selected radial? With the HSI, there's no need to overthink it. Let's set our heading bug in such a way that it's kind of sitting right on the top of that needle, about a 285 heading. This gives us a good 45 degree intercept for the radial. As we roll out on 285, notice the white triangle indicating 45 degrees off center. We should adjust a bit so that the inbound course 230 is sitting on that triangle. Compare what we're seeing on the HSI and VOR. The needles are both deflected to the right. With the combined function of the VOR and DG though, we can actually visualize our intercept. Also, the to from flag is showing two on the VOR and is indicating the same on the HSI since it's pointing in the same direction as the head of the arrow. As we approach the radial, both CDI needles will move towards center, indicating we can turn to our inbound heading of 230 degrees. As we approach the station, we can look outside our aircraft and actually see the Akron VOR transmitter on the ground down there. We'll expect to see the flag flip from to to from. We already know what that'll look like on the VOR receiver, and it's not much different on the HSI. The white triangle goes from pointing at the head of the arrow to pointing at the tail. We're done flying inbound on the 050 radial, and now we're flying outbound on the 230 radial. Many HSIs also have a glide slope indicator for use with precision type approaches, and can also be paired with the GPS course, in addition to the VOR as shown here. But this is the very basics of the HSI functionality. With just a bit of practice, you can take advantage of how much more situational awareness you get from it.